We don't talk enough about the power of winning. You got to fight for life. You got to fight for the life you want. You got to fight and defend and you got to win. The reason you become valuable in life is you do something. You achieve something and you get experience doing that. It matters what you do. I've seen so many people get sucked into their own victories. And because their work ethics broke it, they don't keep working. You need to decide that my life is not good enough the way it is. And so I am going to control the controllables. I am going to change some things. There's so many different ways of getting rich. If you outwork everybody, if you try to be a little smarter than everybody, if you try to be a better salesperson than everybody, if you try to be better prepared than everybody, you've got your best chance. Making sales is not easy. It's not it's not convenient, but you can become better at it. You can get that relentless mindset. You put that skill set together. You can get those results, but it's not easy. Ignore and outperform them. I'm working. I'm working hard. I'm taking things to the next level. I made a firm decision to turn my life around. And every day, I made a new decision to turn my life around again. Every day I trained, I role played, and I educated myself until I got great at the things I liked and even the things I didn't like. I was always the first one to work and the last one to leave. No one beat me there and no one stayed longer than I did. There's literally no restriction on effort. The only law is 24 hours. Besides that, you can work as hard as you want. Well, it doesn't matter if you fail a couple of times. You're going to fail. It makes you better. It makes you stronger. You can't just fight. You got to fight and win. Money is it's a terrifying thing because it's the one thing in life that everybody gets money. It's the one place where everybody gets it, and now what do I do? And I, I can lose it now. So it's a terrifying concept, like like power. You know, very few of us ever, ever get any kind of influence or power, right? Once you get it, you're like, hey, what do I do with this? Am I going to do the right things with it? And so I think people withhold themselves because they don't, we're not educated about money. We don't know where it comes from. We have a lot of misinformation about it. Our parents terrified us. You know, money doesn't grow in trees. Uh, save your money, it'll save you. I don't know how to get it. I don't know how to keep it. The third, the worst part that we're all at is I don't know how to invest it. And so I think we're just a bunch of people walking around terrified of money. And I, I do think you have to have some level of dream that's bigger than your fear. That's how you can get going because we're all afraid of something. And most people are just still sitting in there. They're, if they want to be a good cook, they're just watching another YouTube video on how to cook. But to be a good cook, you have to eventually get in the kitchen. So you have to get going right now and get going on these things to be able to get there. What you need is you need hustle. You need to make goals that are giant. You need to look a little deeper. Like how good is your life? And what do I really want? Invest everything you can in you. It's tax deductible. You never lose it. You know, the, the, the person's personal appreciation will always be bigger than any other asset class. I love that. Okay? Bitcoin can't match it. A real estate can't match it. My personal asset appreciation will always, it is infinite. So the, the first thing people should invest money in, even use debt on, is their personal improvement. Like, what's the one destination you're trying to get to? And, and when we drive, when we're driving in our daily lives, no one ever is like, I'm just gonna drive and see where I end up. The point is, is that when you're going somewhere in, in, in a car, you're like, of course I want a destination. Then why don't we replicate that in business? And Zuckerberg did, and that's what I do. And that, that seems to be the, the thing that works. And you know how many people on the internet want to be the boss? A lot. Dude, the boss don't make any money, the investor does. Don't be the boss, don't be the CEO. This is, there's so much confusion in the marketplace. Be the investor. Yeah. Just invest. Most people sit and they complain, like, oh, I don't have this, 
Like, there's a lot of people. I'm not getting paid enough. Well, what are you doing about it? Did you put together a proposal? Did you go look at comparison analysis? Did you go create more revenue so it's obvious that people should pay you more? Do you have whatever it takes? Because if you're going to be successful, it's not the education. It's not your upbringing. Do you have whatever it takes? When it's tough, when it's hard, when it's scary, will you do whatever it takes to take care of your wife, your kids, ethically, to take care of yourself? It's a worthy goal. That would be a really fulfilling accomplishment in my life. There's a lot more smarter people out there than they give themselves credit for. The only difference is that I start. That's the biggest difference. I do believe there's a, a misconception and something that most people get wrong is that you can't do what you enjoy or passion or dream about and make a lot of money doing it. I don't believe that. And so I wanted to create work that I didn't have to work at. Rich is important, but let me tell you what's really important. Wealth is more important than rich. Wealth is where you want to be. Rich is an insult to wealthy. You, you're rich. Got you got a big house. You got a big car. You, people say that you're rich. Wealth is affluence. It's affluence in every area. It's not about being rich. When I, when I hear a guy say, I'm rich, that's good. That means you got money. When I hear a guy say, I'm wealthy, I'm like, bro, bro, you got it all. What category is wealthy? You got it all. Health, family, right. kids. My inspiration in life. When I go to these billionaires, one of my favorite questions is, how do you enjoy money, but what do you regret about the money? And almost all of them, they regret not spending more time with their family. And only a very few were able to balance them. For 20 years, I was just so obsessed with creating money and getting money. And I was not really obsessed at all in enjoying life and enjoying the money. You don't need to be perfect. You need to be living life, man. You need to be living life. And living life means you're expanding. Like it's an expansion, okay? You just, you're not just going to work. I know most people go to work every day. They're not living, man. They have succumbed to a schedule and to a life. And at the end of the day, if people want to think about what they want to do with their lives, what do you want to work on for free? Work on it really hard. And, it, and no matter what, if the outcome's not you're a trillionaire, you're getting a lot of views or no views, generally you're pretty proud of yourself. How do I do my best while I'm on this planet? How do we remove everything except what's important at all costs and no exceptions?